are listening to 1F914, the show that really makes you thinking emoji. Today's episode is brought to you by the fact that nothing is ever easy in life and my chair keeps rolling when I try to record these. I'm sitting on a stool right now and I had to add an extra... Uh, what? How do I describe these things in a way that you can understand? My microphone is inside of an isolation box sitting on top of four buckets that are stacked on top of each other. They're like square buckets. They are totes, which companies that sell egg in bulk would put a bag full of blended egg into for the purposes of food manufacturing or if hypothetically you owned a uh, big ass cafeteria and needed lots of liquid egg, you might get it that way too. Usually I have it sitting on three of them because that's about the appropriate height, but because my chair was rolling, I had to move to a stool, which is about seven or eight inches higher up because that does not have wheels, but it raised me up to the point where I needed the extra toe. One more of these, or two more of them, actually, and it's usually about the height of me standing and is probably, and is what I would use if I was recording, uh, like, a voiceover or something, which I don't do much of. I've done very little. In fact, I've done none of voiceovers, but, you know, just, like, vocal performances are performed better standing up, and the extra totes bring me up to that level. As I said before, life is suffering. Now, the topic of this video, why, why are we here today? Bulma's hair isn't blue. I know what you're thinking. Adam, yes it is. I'm not blind. I'm not colorblind either. I can see that Bulma's hair is clearly blue. Her son Trunks' hair is also blue, meaning it isn't even hair dye, it's genetic. But the problem with that is that with the exception of one species of butterfly, one species, not even butterflies in general, just one species of butterfly, no animals in nature that we currently know of actually produce a blue pigmentation. I know what you're saying. <laughs> but there are blue fish, there are blue birds, there are blue snakes, there are blue butterflies. What do you mean? I recently watched a video which went into this topic, and to put it simply, the vast majority, and as I previously stated, by vast majority I mean all but one species of butterfly do not produce blue pigmentations. What we perceive as blue is merely a structural mechanism within their scales, their hair, which control the refraction of light to produce the appearance of a blue pigmentation. Human eyes, for example, are never blue. There's only one pigment that the human body produces and that pigment is melanin. And melanin is brown. See, white people are not white. They're, they're just less black because the, their pigmentation is the same thing that causes brown people to be brown. The reason why we are pink is because skin is inherently translucent and there's lots of blood underneath it. So the less brown pigmentation we have, the more that red color from the light reflecting back off of our blood blends together with that little bit of brownness and translucency to produce a like shade of pink. The human eyes use are very similar. It's a very similar principle, except there is a thing called the Tyndale effect. Basically, there is very little melanin inside of the liquid of the human iris for people with blue eyes. And when light reflects back out, it's scattered in a way so that only the blue portion of the spectrum escapes. It's also the reason why green eyes are green because the light is escaping so that only the blue comes out, but a little bit of the brown from the more melanin content also escapes with it. So the eyes look like a combination of this yellowish brownish chemical mixed with a little bit of blue. So bam, you have green with the birds and the snakes and the butterflies, the, as I said before, it's a structure. So like the light enters 
either the scales, which have a certain structure, or it's really it's really just scales. The butterflies that look blue for the most part, they actually have very tiny little scales. But the light hits them at a certain angle, the structure of the scales is a certain way, and then only the blue escapes from certain angles. So what this creates is this creates like a sort of iridescent quality. So if you look at it from varying angles, the hair doesn't always look the same shade of blue. It shifts between shades of purple and then ultimately sometimes shades of black or outright gray. That is how Balma's hair would look because most likely the blue of her hair would not be the result of a pigmentation, but rather the structure of the scales of her hair because hair does grow with a scaly texture. So it wouldn't be outside of the realm of possibility for this to be changed over the course of evolution to have a structure within certain people's families that result in the sh in a, uh, the appearance of blue. Kind of the like a blue black type of thing like with Superman. This actually makes sense when you consider that even though Trunks' hair looks blue, it's almost more of a purple than a blue. Because the structure of hair is, his hair is slightly different from his mother's, the dominant composition of light escaping these scales on his hair is different enough to where it looks a little bit more purple, you know, a little more violet than the really cyan blue that is Balma's hair. So in any live action portrayal or realistic portrayal of Balma, her hair should not be solid blue, but I think personally, I feel that it should be a more of an iridescent blue where it changes and shifts depending on the angles that you look at the hair or how the hair itself moves and uh, flows in the breeze. It would be a very difficult effect to achieve theoretically unless you actually were to develop some kind of pigment hair dye which had that quality and then you just dyed the actress, actresses. I was going to say actor, but I guess that would apply with Trunks, the actor and actress's hair to have that iridescent quality. This was a very nerdy topic, and if that, if that hurts you deep inside, I apologize. Thank you for watching, not watching. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to be updated. No, yeah, subscribe to my channel, but also turn on notifications. That's where I was going. That's what I was looking for. Turn on notifications to be updated when I post other things in the future. I'm going to try and post more of these 1F914 videos because A, they run long and that's, that's pretty much the entirety of it. Bye.